back to my channel i'm so happy to have you here today today i'm going to prepare vegetable soup in a different form so let's get started so these are what we need so far for our cooking here is my muzzle it has been clean washed very well and cooked as well i'm going to you cook it with the shell i like the sound in the pot i need my lids so i need the greenish part of it so i'm going to wash them very well because they have um sand in between them wash it very well this is my stock fish it has been seasoned and cooked very well i cook it together with my meat so that it can get soft and this is my meat well cooked seasoned very well as well and i use three um red onions so i have some here that i've i have some here that i've cleaned and slide chopped into pieces and here we need our carrots i'm using three carrots so far and there is my red alt pepper and there is my red big belly pepper it has been steamed washed very well here i need my maggi i'm not going to use all i'm just going to take the one i'm going to use out of it so i think i should so far i don't know um yeah let me use crayfish and none together so they, those are the maggie that i'm going to use here i'm going to use my season um I will say my season maggi, I call it maggi, my season maggi, to spice my cooking up. It contains salt, lot of salt. So, I have salt as well here. Um, I might end up not using this salt. If I taste my cooking and the, the salt there, if it's okay for me, I might end up not using this. But, for those that doesn't have this, you will need your maggi with with your salt you need your maggi with your salt so for those that doesn't have this we need the maggi and the salt but me i may end up not using salt because of the um salt that is in this and um here it's my locals beans i'm going to use that the one i have here is dry so i need to soak it into hot water and this is the one i soak in the hot water already it has been is awake now I could say that so you can see so i need my red okay it's fell i need my red palm oil for my cooking as well so so as well i'm going to need my smoke dry um, crayfish so i think that's all we need so far so let's get started So I'm going to prepare my pepper now. These ones have been washed. I've been properly washed and cleaned up. I'm just going to chop my um, carrots and clean up my lids. So now my 
my legs have been properly washed i've washed them very very well so i'm going to slice them now i'm going to slice them into pieces now So I'm going to slice my carrots as well, chop it into pieces so that it will be easy to blend. So here I finish um, chopping up uh, my leeks, carrots and I've put my pepper in it. So I'm going to wash my local beans now. Because my local beans were preserved with salt, so I really need to raise it very well to wash all the salt there away. Yes, there's no more salt there. So I'm going to add some here to blend together. And I'm going to leave just tiny bits, just a little bit of it. So ready to blend. So I'll finish blending my leeks, pepper, carrots, onions, local beans and everything together. Um, you can see how much you can see how much my pepper is just today because I want it to be ready a little bit that's why i had um tata sheets to it the ones i used to cook before so the big red pepper and uh, the big um, red bell pepper that I used, I used um, two big ones, I used two big ones, that's the one I, I steam that I washed, I used two big ones of the big red bell pepper, so let's start cooking, so this is my pot, that I used to cook my meat. So as you can see, um, I have um, my meat stock in there. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to use it to, for my cooking. So I'm going to pour my pepper in it to cook together. So let's get started. I hope I don't have much pepper in here. I'm going to put it. So I've put my pepper into the pot. So I'm going to leave it to cook while I do some other things. So here I'm going to I'm going to place my stock my stock fish here. I 
think it still had a little bit. So, so far so good. This is how it looks like. I'm going to add my stock fridge because it's still out a little bit. And I'm going to add my locust beans as well. I'm going to add my crayfish as well so that I can continue boil. And here is my palm wine. Oh, sorry. Here is my <laughs> palm oil. I'm so sorry. So I'm adding that. So I'm going to add my maggi at this stage. I think I have. So I'm adding my maggi. And I'm going to taste it because um my chicken my chicken stock have um maggie as well because i season i season my meat so i have to check i have to taste it to see how it is so that I won't, i'm not going to put my season maggie into it and i will end up have um salty so what happened to this maggie okay Let me check it first. So, it's quite red. The spice is not enough. I think this is the small one I have here. Let me use that. Then I will taste it if it's okay. I have to taste it if it's okay.
yes it's it's nice now so So at this stage, I'm going to add my mix. I really don't like big meat. So my meat are always in a medium size or small. So I'm going to scrape my juice. And here, the last one, I'm adding my consider song. I like the song of it in a pot. So I'm going to leave it to steam a little bit more. So I'm going to cover it again for it to sink. So my steel is done. As you can see, it's done. Sometimes if I cooked this type of steel, I don't add um, um, big red pepper because I want that green, very green color, um, like um, green steel. So today I decided to add the red bee pepper to make it red a little bit. I just want to see how it's going to come out and it really looked like steel the normal steel that we used to cook um that's how it looks like now it's red it's not grill in color so I like it it's finished cooking so that's my, I call it vegetable still in another form because I use um, carrots and leeks to cook it. That's why I said um, vegetable still. But like seriously, you can't even believe you will see the finished products that I use carrots and leeks to cook it I 
at the end i end up not using salt because i have um enough i i have a lot of salt in there so i end up not using the salt at all so there is a i end up not touching it at all i didn't even use it so want to dish it out we have beef in there chicken everything So there's it, that's how it looks like, you can see, so looking good and it tastes nice, really, really nice. And they, they, I can say the, um, the aroma, the smell is superb. So there is my soup done nicely cooked season the smell the aroma is awesome so that's it and i'm going to prepare you can you can use this to eat your rice you can use it to eat your um padded yam you can use it to eat yam you can use it to eat most of the things it depends on you so there is it so nice looking good so thank you for watching if you like my cooking please like comment subscribe and share and press the notification button thank you so much thank you i love you all bye